This week, ICC Prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda delivered a stinging criticism of the government for offering what she called selective assistance to her office in her quest to investigate and punish those responsible for the violence of 2007, making it hard for her to build a case. Kenya's chief legal advisor terms her claims as baseless. She has repeated for the hundredth time allegations against the government of the Republic of Kenya that are baseless, that are without foundation, and that are a very belated attempt on her part to explain away the incompetence uh, that attended the prosecution of these cases. Therefore, we feel that the continued allegation that Kenya as a state party has failed to cooperate uh, with this tribunal is uh, in, in a very large measure uh, contemptuous of the sovereignty of a state party. The same message the Attorney General delivered to the ICC judges when he became the first AG to address an ICC trial chamber that some of the prosecutor's requests were untenable. I invited her to Nairobi. She came. She met the highest leadership of our country. She toured this country. She went to Naivasha. She went to Nakuru. She interviewed uh, uh, displaced persons. I don't think that, to my mind, this is evidence of non-cooperation. In the specific two cases, we gave documents after documents after documents. Bensuda said in a statement she hopes the government will fulfill its obligations under the Rome Statute and surrender three people accused of interfering with witnesses. That there is an order of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of Kenya stopping the government of the Republic of Kenya from arresting and uh, trans transferring Mr. Brasa. How can they, she then call a press conference to say that she wants us to do that in spite of the court order, in spite of the judicial process? This is what gives me a little concern as to what kind of legal competence is available to the court. We should take our citizens, put them on a flight and battle them too. We will never do that. That won't happen. But if the court says, as the High Court says, arrest this person, put him on a flight, we will do it as soon as that court order is given. The ICC on Tuesday terminated the Crimes Against Humanity cases against Ruto and Sang. Judge Esuji cited witness interference and intolerable levels of political meddling. For a judge to say that there was political, there were political considerations, uh, is he saying that he himself took politics into consideration? Which politics? The politics of the big Western countries that want Africa taught lessons, or the politics of MCAs in uh, in Nakuru or Naivasha? Uh, I think it's a ridiculous statement. The AG did not, however, agree with Esuji's views that the proceedings be declared a mistrial. The judges terminated the cases, but without prejudice to the prosecutor's right to re-prosecute the cases. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.